Hip Percussion. In today's lesson, we are going to be doing exercises 35 and 36, 16th notes and rests in quarter and eighth time. Number 35 is in 4-4, four, four, so I'm going to set my metronome to 80 beats per minute, and I'm going to make sure that my time signature is in 4-4 four, four time, so that I have four pulses in each measure. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Because I need to count my sixteenth notes. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. Or if I have an eighth and two sixteenth notes, one and a two and a three and a four and a. Or if I have two sixteenth notes and an eighth, one E and two E and three E and four E and. And that's what this lesson. And the next lesson will be about those 16th notes and rests in quarter and eighth time. Let's start with number 35. Join me and let's try playing and counting through this exercise. One, two, three, four, one, two, ready, go. One and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and a one e and a two and three e and four. One and a two and three e and a four and one and a two e and three and a four e and and two and a three e and 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 three e and four e and one e and and three and a four. One e and two and three e and four and one e and two e and three e and four and I'd like to point something out to you in the first and second measure of number 35. Do you notice that the first measure of 35 is eighth and two sixteenth? One and a two and a three and a four and a. And in the second measure of number 35, we've got four sixteenth notes with the second being a sixteenth rest. One and a two and a three and a four and a. Those two measures are written differently, but sound the same. Let's move on to exercise 36. We've got a similar situation where measure 1 and measure 2 of number 36 are written differently, but sound the same. 1 E and 2 E and. I'm going to change my tempo. I'm sorry, I'm going to change my, my temp time signature to 2-4 time. My tempo is going to remain at 80 beats per minute. 1, 2, 36, go. 1 E and 2 E and 1 E and 2 E and 1 and a 2 E and 1 and a 2 E and 1 and 2 E and a and 2 E and a 1 and a 2 E and 1 and a 2 E and 1 E and 2 1 and 1 E and 1 and 2 E and 1 E and 2 1 and a 2 1 E and 2 1 and a 2 1 E and 2 1 E and a 2 E and a 1 E and a 2 E and a 1 E and 2 E and 1 E and 2 E and 1 E and a 2 E and a 1 E and a 2 E and a 1 and a 2 and a 1 1 E and 2 and a 1 and 2 and 1 and a 2 E and 1 1 E and a 2 1 E and a 2 one and a two e and one and a two and a one e and a two e and a one and two. Try finding some measures in number 36 that sound the same as their neighbor. You'll find the several instances where they're like measure one and two, they're back to back but written differently, but they sound the same. So I hope this has been helpful and informative. I hope that you'll practice these two exercises on your own with your metronome set at a suitable tempo for you to count, say, and play the rhythms correctly. I'll see you again soon. Keep practicing.